Today we're in Isikul Lake. Yes, so we're here to enjoy the lake. Yes. Isikul is one of the largest lakes in the world. Yes. And it's located in Kyrgyzstan. So we decided to come here to just enjoy this place. So that's why we're here. Today we're going to show you guys around a little bit and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the views and the place. We came to the lake with some of our family members and today we are going to the boat together. We are going to stay here for one hour and then we will stop for 20 minutes and then we will have a chance to swim there. the boat it was really nice I tried to swim there but the water was taking me very far so it was a little bit scary I couldn't get on the water because it's too deep there so we're staying in this place this place is like a guest house yes it's near Chilponata city not so far from it mm -hmm. it's a very quiet area and the setup is like Soviet setup. It still has some old guest houses and there also about some new guest houses. Yeah, I remember Uncle said he was here last in 1996. Yes. So, so this place has been around for a very long time. Yes, we are going to the cafeteria and it also has kind of Soviet setup, but they fixed it and now it looks more modern than yeah. before. But the food they provide for us is also in a Soviet style. During lunch time they give us some soup and then they give us the second meal which is maybe going to be rice or something else. So we finished our lunch, now let's go to the beach. Ken is tired and he found the place to chill. Here is the beach and the lake is over there. There are lots of people today. Actually, on our beach, there are not as many people as any other beaches because this year there are plenty of people everywhere and the lake is completely busy and full. In this year, there are so many tourists. That's why most of the places are busy and it's really hard to find even the place to stay, not only during weekends, even during the weekday. It's completely full, like today is Wednesday and there are plenty of people everywhere. We are chilling here, it's really nice, the weather is so beautiful, mm -hmm. it feels amazing. It's 6.30 p.m. but it's still hot. Very hot. Everybody swims here till late night. Sometimes people really like swimming at night too. 
Yesterday we realized that after dinner there is a party here where people just dance, they sing karaoke, they play table tennis and there are other entertainments here. Actually the place where we are staying is not as loud as the center. We are just a little bit out of the city that's why it's like more relaxed here. Yeah, actually, actually I prefer staying here Yeah. because I don't like crowded places and noisy places. So I'd rather be here far, far away from the crowds. Yes. It's more relaxing out here. This place is like for family. That's why it's more quiet and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go and, and have I've been, some I've dinner. been tanned like crazy. <laughs> There was a woman who passed and, and she, was, she like, was really surprised to see Ken and she was like Oh, you got a good suntan because she thought he's local and he just got suntan <laughs> We got here, we are going to have some pyroshki, it's just a flour bread with some filling inside. Also we like to drink something that's called ayran, it's just a sour drink and then I don't know what they are going to bring us for dinner today. So we just got the, the meal, it's potatoes and chicken, yeah, I'm excited to try something different. One hour later. We just go to this small cafe. We are going to eat shashlik here. So there is an Azerbaijanian person who is going to make shashlik. Yep, very excited for it. Ken is trying selotka, local fish for the first time. It's very salty and actually nice. people like to eat to this drink. type of fish with beer. The next morning. Good morning everyone. Good morning everybody. Yesterday we had really a fun day. Mm -hmm. We went to dance in the evening after eating shashlik. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. And today we are just going to the beach now. Before we go to the beach, we'll give you a quick room tour. We have two beds here. When you enter, there's a wardrobe here. And then on the outside, that's where the beds are. I'm sleeping here. My baby is sleeping there. And here we have a mini fridge. And um, we have a bathroom here, toilet and shower. This the room is just like just like this. It's, it's cozy. It's okay like this. Yeah. So this is about the room. Not so fancy, but again not so bad. It's just good for like coming to rest. Wow, I guess the best time to come is in the morning. Yeah, when everybody's no sleeping. No one is here. <laughs> the beach is completely empty. leaving this place it was really a fun time did you enjoy Ken? yes I did it was amazing sad to go but yes. this is home we'll still come back another time yeah still have lots of time to explore because we'll be coming here quite often before we go we'll just buy some snacks and then we'll wait for the car to pick us bye bye